Welcome to the Sabbath Hour Telecast. This is your host, Leonard Mullins, inviting you again to enjoy a good time with us as we continue to study the Revelation Seminar Series. Uh, our guest today, as you see here, we have on, uh, from my right, we have uh, Sister Alberta Wiggins, who is director of the We Score After School Program at this Smyrna Seventh-day Adventist Church, 4394 West Washington Boulevard. It's just off of Crenshaw. Yes, it is. And uh, she has classes there on Wednesdays from 5 to 8, 5, five to 7, uh, crafts and tutoring, uh, you name it. And it goes on there. You come in, drop in there sometime and see what she's doing. And on my extreme left, we have Sister Helen James, who's the Bible work at the Mid-City Seventh-day Adventist Church. And she today will be coordinating our study. Uh, we've continued from last week's study. We'll pick up from where we left off. What's the title of the study today, Sister? Well, we're still talking about Satan being bound a thousand, thousand years. years. It's called the millennium, although that word does not appear in the Bible as we discussed on our last segment. We do know it means a thousand year period when the saints will be in heaven and when Satan will not have anybody to tempt. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, talk about this place where mm -hmm. Satan will be bound. Yeah. He said he was bound in a bottomless pit. Mm -hmm. that devil was there for a thousand years in a bottomless pit. Let's just discuss that for a minute. What this bottomless pit really is. Now, in Revelation 20, 1 to 3, and in Genesis 1, 1 and 2, we learn about the earth being without form. Mm -hmm. Darkness was on the face of the deep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this bottomless pit it's translated the same word, abyss. Mm -hmm. This means that then this place where Satan will be bound mm -hmm. will be right here on the earth. Mm -hmm. A totally devastated earth where the sun refuses to shine, mm -hmm. strewn with dead bodies, devoid of the Spirit of God. This will be the place where he will be bound. What is this saying to us? is saying that the deep, the abyss, and the bottomless pit the same. all mean the same thing. They refer to the earth without form, void, oh no people in it, and in total darkness. Yes. Then why is it then that Jeremiah 4.23 to 26 saw this? This is why Jeremiah saw it. Let's read Jeremiah 4, 23 to 26. And it tells us that, Lo, I saw the heavens, and surely they had no light. They were black. It was black. And then he says, And lo, there was no man there. Mm -hmm. And lo, it was without form and void. And the land was utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, as Isaiah 24, 3 says it. And incidentally, right now, I'd like to invite you to have your Bible in hand Amen. during this series, because I don't want you to say, Sister James said, I want you to say, the Word of, the word God, of God says. Yes. And even if you don't read it now, jot it down for a future reference, that you can prayerfully study these scriptures, that you will not be s deceived, because the Bible says that Satan as a roaring lion goes about seeking, seeking, who, who, seeking whom he may devour. Yeah. That's right. First Peter 5, 8. Yes. He wants to deceive the whole world. Mm -hmm. So that if it were possible, yes. he would deceive the very elect. If it were possible, that means Nobody, but nobody is immune. You've got it. <laughs> nobody. Nobody's immune. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. That's All right. right. We just spoke of Jeremiah 4, 23 to 26, and verse 28. And low means sure enough. Yeah. That's what Jeremiah said. <laughs> sure, sure enough. enough. Sure enough. This is what I saw. <laughs> Good old it's word. just like it, the Lord said it was going to be. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, what is this bottomless pit then? It is the earth without form, void, without, shapeless, and, without, and living, without living people. Without living people. 